right so we are going to be looking at the section modulus of various shapes so we'll be starting with a rectangular section all right we look at this rectangle from this point to this point is our base and from this point to this point is the depth all right so and uh, from this point to this point is our natural axis where it is what uh, section and uh, from this point to this point is uh, D divided by what? By two, but you are going to understand all of this. All right, so now the first thing you are going to note here is the moment of initial of a rectangular section about uh, the axis through the natural axis. All right, that is the moment of initial about the natural axis, which is denoted by Y. By I rather is equals to B D cube divided by twelve. All right. So that is the first uh, formula that you are going to note here. The moment of initial of a rectangular section about the natural as is is B D cube divided by what by twelve. All right. So the next thing here is the distance of uh, the Outermost uh, layer from the neutral axis, the distance of the outermost layer from the neutral axis, which is denoted by what y max. All right, and uh, you know it is always d divided by two. D divided by this from the neutral axis to the outermost uh, layer is what d divided by what by two. So it shows that our y max, which is the distance. From the uttermost layer to the what? Uh, to the neutral axis, denoted by y max, is equals to d divided by two. And uh, you note that we have already talked about our sectional modulus, which is denoted by i. Uh, sorry, by z, and which is said is equals to what? The ratio of our um, uh, moment of inertia divided by what? By y max all right so if we substitute all of this formula here we are going to have this to be equals to b d cubed divided by 12 then divided by what d divided by 2 all right so we can further write this as b d cubed divided by 12 multiplied by uh, this division here we change to multiplication Provided that these two will come up, this D will go, go down 2 over D. So here we are going to have 2 year 1, 2 year 6, D year 1, D year 2. So we are going to have this to be what? B, D squared, all over what? All over 6. So it shows that uh, the section modulus of a rectangular section is what? B, D squared over 6. All right. So... And uh, you are going to note from the Flesherer equation, uh, we, uh, in our introduction class, already show us that our M is equals to what? Is equals to stress multiplied by what? By our uh, Z, that is our section modulus. So if we substitute our section modulus here, we can write our maximum bending moment to be equals to stress multiplied by what? Multiply by B D squared divided by C. So this formula is the maximum bending moment for a rectangular section. And uh, why this formula here is the sectional modulus for a rectangular section. So the next section we are going to be talking about is the Olo uh, rectangular section. We'll be looking at a circular section. All right. So the moment of initial about the neutral axis for a circular section, I is given as pi d to the power of 4 all over what? 64. So this is what we have. And uh, the distance, uh, the, the distance from the uttermost uh, part, that is from the uttermost part, to the uh, neutral axis. So the neutral axis is nothing but what? D over 2. All right. 
So we can say for that our y max is equals to d all over what two. All right. So it therefore means if we apply our section modulus now, our section modulus, which is i all over y max. will be equals to our i is what? pi d to the power of 4 all over 64 divided by this division here divided by y max which is d all over what? 2. All right. So, and then uh, this, oh, let me write it in a proper way. So, divided by d all over 2. So, this will be equals to pi d to the power of 4 over 64 multiplied by this division change to multiplication divided by this we go up this we come down so 2 year 1 2 year is 32 d year 1 d year is 3 all right so we can therefore say that our z is equals to what is equals to pi d to the power of 3 all over what 32 so this will be the formula for section modulus for uh, this circular section. All right, so we can also apply the, uh, for us to know the maximum bending moment. So this is going to be M will be equals to stress multiplied by Z, which is pi D cubed all over 32. So this will be the formula for the maximum maximum bending moment all right so we'll be looking at a hollow circular next all right so uh this is an hollow circular section so again we'll be uh, starting with the uh, moment of uh, inertia about the uh, uh, neutral axis which is i and which is given to us as you know it is a uh, hollow so it's going to be pi d to the power of 4 over 64 minus pi into d to the power of 4 over 64. So we can factor out 1 over 64 from here. So we'll be left with pi. Uh, so we can factor out pi over 64. So we'll be left with d to the power of 4 minus d to the power of 4. All right. And our y max, our y max is d over what? Over 2. All right. So from here, we can know that our uh, uh, sectional modulus z is high over y max. So this will be equals to i, which is pi over 64 into d to the power of 4 minus d to the power of 4 divided by d divided by 2. All right. So this will be equals to this will be equals to pi all over 64 into d to the power of 4 minus d to the power of 4 multiplied by <laughs> multiply by uh, 2 over d 2 over d all right so and uh, you are going to note that this 2 here 1 2 in 64 is 32 all right so it means that our z here is going to be what is going to be z will be equals to be equals to pi over 32 d into d to the power of 4 minus d to the power of 4 so this is our section modulus so if you want to know what your maximum bending moment is our maximum 
any moment is stress multiplied by z. So our m will be equals to stress multiplied by pi over 32d into d to the power of 4 minus d to the power of 4. All right. So this is the maximum bending moment for an hollow section. So we'll be considering uh, a rectangular, a triangular section. We are going to be looking at the triangular section. All right. So uh, we are going to be considering the moment of inertia about the natural axis. So I will be equals to B H cubed over 36. Why our max, our y max about the natural axis is 2h over 3. h over 3 all right uh, there are some times that uh, you can consider this about the base as well uh, for our i about the base about the base is going to be uh, b h uh, cubed over 12 why our y mass is going to be about the base is going to be h over 3 all right but here we are considering it about the what about the natural as is all right so and then our Z now, which is our section modulus, is going to be I over, <coughs> over Y max. So this will be equals to B H to the power of 3 over 36. Uh, of course, this is supposed to be divided by 2 H over 3. So everything here will be B H 3 over 36 multiplied by 3 over 2 H. Right? So H here. 1, H year 2. Then 3 year 1, 3 year is uh, 12. And the uh, 12 times 2 is 24. So it shows that our section modulus will be BH squared all over what? All over 24. That will be the section uh, modulus. All right. So this is our section modulus. All right, but and uh, our maximum moment now, maximum moment, uh, bending moment, which is stress multiplied by Z. So the maximum bending moment now will be equals to stress multiplied by B H squared over 24. All right. So here is uh, everything that you need to know on section modulus all right of a symmetric uh shape so uh we'll be diving into uh some various calculations and expect a lot a lot a lot calculations uh we are going to touch every aspect of your exam of your examination all the possible questions you might likely come across so stay tuned thank you